Let us see your face. There you, you are. You know who I am. There you are. There you are. Mr. You Wonder. know me very well, don't you, JP? You've made videos on me. You, you don't like you that. You ain't right, I did. You, you don't like that I speak with my hat on, you know? You're very legal. Uh, that's scripture. You want to see the scripture on that? Uh, it's, there, it's I'm praying while I'm praying. And unfortunately, at this moment, I'm not praying. Do you want to see the scripture where it says a man should not cover his head at all? Or you just want to, you want that one? Yeah, the scripture says I should not cover my head when I am praying. And I'm not praying. And when I pray, okay. I take it off. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, and let's go to verse 7. Let's see if it's talking about praying or prophesying. Mm, let's see. One Corinthians. And this stuff, and, and this stuff that y'all talking about, these three persons and all this other schizophrenic God y'all got in your mind, y'all need to get it out of y'all head. Yeah, I mean, it's the oneness that are schizophrenic, man. Not the I'm not oneness. You're I'm a biblical man. Here. Bro, you're yeah, one no, dude, dude, don't play games, man. I Come am on. you don't, don't, don't on this for the second. Nonsense, bro, man. bro, 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 on. Smoke, 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 come on. Sorry, bro, I'm sorry, man. You know, you're good, you're good. Stand and we preach, don't play games. You're a oneness man. Don't play games, bro, don't play games. I'm for the second, to... for the third time, I am no oneness or no Pentecostal or none of that stuff. Stop trying to put me in a box. Stop trying to put us in a box, my brothers. Brother, you're Just because we believe that Jesus you're Christ wondering. is God Almighty, Father, Lord, as the scriptures say. For the, sake, for the sake of argument, what are, you have to identify yourself as something. For the sake of argument. No, heretics don't identify themselves as things. All right. Let me go ahead and identify myself. I live and try to strive to be holy as God commands. That's what I'm at. I don't know where y'all at in life. So or, bro, you know, whatever, whatever man made religions y'all want to be in, that's fine. But I am striving to be holy as God command. See, if y'all knew the scriptures and y'all had the Holy Spirit, y'all would know that Jesus Christ is Father Lord. And Jesus told you that, did he not? No. Uh, let me show you. Uh, hold that scripture right there, uh, brother, because we got a brother right here that, that, that doesn't believe that Jesus didn't call himself Father. Let's go bro, to the scripture. Father of all creation, bro. Don't be silly, bro. That's the we went to Isaiah 9 6 with Dory Love, and your boy denied that. Remember that? You're being silly, bro. That's a title. When we, when we went to Isaiah 9 6 with Jesus Christ is called the Everlasting Father, did you deny that? Uh, no, Jesus is the Everlasting Father. <laughs> that is a title, silly. So give me some concrete scripture because you're being very silly right now. Give so is the silly. title of Jesus Christ the Everlasting Father? Give me concrete scripture. I said yes, that is a title. That is So is his title. name called the Everlasting Father? That is a title. We already spoke. Asked, there are many titles. We already know it's a we already know it's a title. I'm yes. asking you a simple question. Did Jesus Christ fit was known as the Everlasting Father? See, you an amateur at this. You're just a baby Christian. I'm giving it back to you and I'm saying show me a scripture where it doesn't J show JP. JP, I already showed you. Isaiah 9, 6, and we can go to John 14, verse 7, verse 10, if y'all want to. And these are going to show me that the Father and the Son and Holy Spirit it, are not three distinct persons? I want you to find, I'm still looking for three persons in the Word of God. I still have yet to find three persons. Man, find that scripture that you believe. Oh, bro, so let me ask you a question. I can show you where Jesus is the everlasting Father, but can you find me that God is three persons? Hold on, hold on. First of all, him I actually could. <laughs> uh, uh, show me. Uh, let's, let's let's buddy here. The grand, do you know Greek and the Granville Sharp rule? <laughs> I don't need to know Greek. I okay, got the well, word of God in my language. Well, I okay, speak well, English. You, you speak English. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, the you're trying to go to old Greek, Greek like you some kind of Greek. Let me tell you. Let me show you something. If I pull up something that has all old, old Greek, would you know how to uh, uh, interpret it for me? Nope, I'm not a Greek expert. Oh, my oh, teacher, that's what I thought. So you speak English like me, then. I know the Granville Sharp rule. I've educated myself somewhat. I'm not I don't care nothing about like Grand Sharp rule or anybody yeah, you know that nothing, name. Dude. We're gonna go. It's we're gonna stay to the Holy learn. Scriptures, brother. You I don't want to learn. I have a question. I want you to find three persons. Just find that for me, and I believe I it. I'm gonna agree with you. you. I will believe. I will. Listen. I'm Kurt Lowe. Will believe that there is three persons when I acknowledge it, because our faith got to be written, y'all. Y'all got. If y'all gonna say that y'all believe in something, or you say, oh, y'all keep making this. God is a person, and this is a Holy Spirit's a person, and all this other stuff. Y'all got to find that. Oh, uh, I Grant, just told you. You just don't want to listen. You talking about going to old Greek and then your old homeboy idol. Okay, dude, I, I don't care about him. 
Okay, that's not I what I said. What I said there is a Greek scholar, and by the way, you need Greek scholars. You tell scholars. that Greek scholar to come see me. Dude, let me tell you something. You wouldn't be able to read the Bible in your hands without Greek scholars, okay? I, so I have read it. It's in the King James Version, which lines up 99.9 oh, accuracy with the Dead Scroll. <laughs> with my 52 of the best scholars is. of Hebrew, Old Greek, there and Arabic, there is. is. Why would I go to any? You know, I can tell when somebody lost when they don't go to the King James Version because all y'all Bible translations there was written off the King James Version. Yeah. Listen, but we, that's a whole you, other subject how, we're going how, into. How would Let's you stay explain, on the three person stuff. Listen, how would you explain going? But we going into another, what he want to go into. He want to go into his theology and old Greek and Hebrew. We don't care nothing about how would that. Would you explain? How would you explain to a country that's all full blown Spanish? You're not gonna give them a King JV. They don't even speak Spanish, um, English. So, so, so in Spanish, not... they don't have King James version. Say it again. In 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 or uh, uh Spain or in Mexico, they don't have King James version. Not Spanish. every Spanish country. <laughs> not every Spanish country. And not every country. Not every and not every country has the Word of God um to them, or at least they the don't whole, the whole Word of God. Bro, so they don't have the King James version in Spanish. Version, in Spanish. The King James version does not save anybody. <laughs> it's the word of God, man. Come on, man. We're talking about James. James. Writers weren't inspired. Anybody know that the King James version is, 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 dude, is, is the true dude, word, you know, authentic wait, word of okay, God? Okay, I'll tell you what. You know what? You're the one sitting there talking about give me Bible verses. Give me. I'll tell you what. Yes. You give me a Bible verse that Reverse. shows me that translators are inspired agents of God. Give me one of them. We're going into your theology. We don't care nothing about what you're no, saying. We want to go to the scripture where it talk about three verses. Let's go back to the let's go back to the topic at hand that you're running from. You know what I'm saying? Because you we know we know when a man try to go to Hebrew and Old Greek, he don't know the Holy Scriptures. But you want, you wow. want to say, wow. Wow. Version, but you don't want to have a you don't want to have a standing on the King James Version. That's what we're asking. Let's go back to where Jesus Christ is called the Father that y'all deny. Let's go back to that. That y'all trying to run from that. So we're moving away from the King James argument. Oh, yeah. Oh, y'all want to run from the truth. I see that. I understand that. Because you know what? Them other versions, they line up with your theory where it makes two gods. I know what y'all trying to do. I got no problems talking about the King James Version. What then I, let's go to it. What I, what I want you to recognize is that not every language has an accessibility to the King James Version. That's, what That's a lie. No, it's not. That's a lot. No, it's not. I've, no, it's you not. telling me in Mexico they ain't got King James version oh, only in Spanish? It's about the language of Quechua. I got brothers right now that are, that that that, that are from Puerto Rico, from Mexico, right now that testify they got a King James version in That's Spanish. Fine. You want to talk about that? This man up to, this man right next to you to the left said the opposite of that. Listening to what about Quechua? Wait, I didn't say. I I never mentioned a specific country. I just said in general <laughs> country. Boy, backtrack, yeah. That boy, crawl vision, y'all. In general. Anyway. And anyway, if you right believe away. that, have you been to every country or tribe in the world where they have access to the King James? There's people, that's not, their, that, they don't speak that language. You can't be like, oh. You talking have apples and oranges, man. Come on, man. Let's go back to the scripture where we talk about the Father. Y'all trying to go into different, different. Man, well, listen, I believe in the King James Version before I believe in any of y'all, NIV, NSVs, or whatever y'all trying to make me believe, yeah, all right? Because they came first before you. Anything. I'm just saying, I'm so just saying. I, 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 stop it. talking to me about it then, because I don't care about it. I don't care. Right. Listen, the NIV, let me taste how corrupt these versions are. They change words, and that's why y'all got two gods. No, I mean, I got no problem. Oh, with come on, man. Bro. Because the father and the son have never been separated. But I also think that's kind of, I also think it's kind of naive to say that somebody saying let's go into the Greek or the Aramaic, that that's, that, that the King James is better than the Greek or the Aramaic. I never say that. I said that the, I said that the word of God is translated in my language and all I of y'all speak English, to, obviously. To, so I don't need to go to Hebrew. Listen to me. I don't need to go to old Hebrew. I don't need to go to El Greek because they're all dead language. I don't speak neither one of them, and neither do none of y'all. So why are y'all trying to push me to old Greek and Hebrew like I'm supposed to believe uh, what you say? And then, what, what, let, me, let me put it to you like that real quick, real quick. I'm going to let you answer. Let's say that the old Greek or the Hebrew changes what the word of God says in the King James Version. Which one do I believe? What are you talking about? And, 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 uh, we ain't talking to you, Smokey, because you don't know the scripture. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get you gotta get better scripture than going to Hebrew and old Greek. That's what that's what you need to do. But let's get back so into the let's get back into this triune. Y'all, y'all got the lion here. 
Y'all yeah, got the right. person who goes against the whole trinity and what and, 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 and had many debates cat, about brother, this. You, lying, you got the lion here. Ask the question. Brother, you a cat, brother. Now hurry up. Hey, the cat, you the one with the hat on disrespecting God. Brother, I'm not disrespecting You the one with the hat on disrespecting God every time you come up on here. Brother, I'm not disrespecting God. Continue. And you just a baby Christian too. These guys, man. One Corinthians chapter eleven, verse seven. For a man indeed not to cover his head. This ain't hard to understand, y'all. A fifth grader could read this and understand that. For as much as he is the image and the glory of God, but the woman is the glory of the man. This ain't got nothing to do with praying or prophesying. Doesn't say anything about that. See, he bringing up 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4 that say that. But it says right here, for a man indeed ought not to cover his head. You know what I'm saying? You that Dory little brother. <laughs> I want Dory here. You bring him up here. You bring David Lynn up here. Can you, do you not have the ability of self-control, by the way? Like, do you not have the ability to stop talking? Awesome. Cool. Okay. That's great. Yeah. So, um, so the whole issue here at the root, just so you know, dude, is that when you start going on about the KJV onlyism and you're using that as your base stopping off point, it's gonna, it's gonna not ring really true with us. Man, really I don't care critical. nothing you saying, brother. Bring hold up on, scriptures hold on, what you talking on, about. I don't on, care what that guy's saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen. Don't you get into the scriptures thing. talking about Jesus is the hold Father? Hold on, yo, okay. hold on, hold on. what he got to say. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hold on. If you're if you're not gonna shut up and and learn how to listen, you can't on, even control your be, spirit. Gonna listen, tell somebody to shut up. Who are you? Who are you? Somebody that can tell you what to do on this channel. All right. You ain't telling me to shut up. That's for sure. So right now. Man, we both grown here. Listen, if you don't know how to control yourself and all you do is yapping, yapping, and yapping. I'm not the one that told somebody to shut up talking about I can't, I can't control myself. I'm, you I'm can't control fine. yourself. I'm, I'm talking. Talking. I love talking. the Lord. Stop and ain't nothing you going to stop me from doing that. Now, Bro, let's get back listen. into this triune God. Let's stop listen, this man smoking. trying to defer everything. Listen, listen Smokey is trying to talk. I don't care if you disagree with him wholeheartedly. But the way you keep coming at him, oh, I don't care about that. Da, da, da. Like, how you, how you expect people to talk? Hey, shut up, man. Let him talk. Let him talk. Shut up, man. Let him talk. How about this? Right, how about that? No, no, I will. I will. But how do you take the moral ground and then you take, you take the moral ground and shut up? And then <laughs> Every time they roar, man. Why can't we just go into a regular debate? And, and all this other stuff, people always want to use their philosophy and theory. Let me show y'all something real quick before we get this over. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and meaningless deceit, vain deceit, after the traditions of man, after the rudeness of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Why are these men trying to go to uh, Hebrew, old Greek, and all this? Man, we can read all scriptures, man. I don't need to go to no Hebrew, old Greek, man. Beware lest any man try to spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. And not after the holy scriptures. And not after Christ. God is the word. This is JP where he says he don't believe, he doesn't deny it. But yeah, it, if he don't deny it, that means that Jesus Christ is father, the everlasting father. Man, these people are foolish. You can always catch these people in contradictions and lies on God's word. Isaiah 9, 6, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his name, and he shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father. It's not two gods, man. Jesus Christ is he. These people got three personalities, some schizophrenic God. There is nowhere in the scriptures that say God is three persons, people, or whatever they talking about. 